and welcome to your gold market update for today the 6th of july 2022 mike smith senior analyst with gold markets to lead you on this meander through the markets today let's have a look at what's coming across the news so far of course u.s markets stage a, a significant comeback after trading in excess of two percent to the downside to close slightly higher on the s p 500 and the nasdaq tech sector outperformed recession fears are rife this is increasing day on day it seems with now the bond yield curve inverting and the us dollar spiking higher us futures are trading pretty neutral in asia and surprisingly asian indices are ignoring the positive us lead and are to the downside but very very choppy in early trading asx is currently down around about 0.15 of a percent European futures pointing to a lower open as well, which again ignores that US lead. The US dollar index, as we've already intimated, broke mid-June highs, really spiked uh, to the upside. is higher today again, and consequently, all commodities sold off. Gold smashed through 1800 to hit seven months low, trading around about $20 shy of that key level. Oil retest 105 to hit two months lows, but bounced a little bit in early trading in Asia this morning. Copper continues to drop, soft commodities also, which is maybe not a bad thing in terms of the bigger inflation picture. VIX spiked up to 30 and then made its way back down to 28 by the end of the US session. Bitcoin managed to hold that 20,000 support that we've been referencing for the last few weeks. And on the data front, We've got European retail sales, US PMI data, but probably the major market influencer is the FOMC minutes where participants will be picking apart those to see if there's any more clues that may telegraph Fed action over the next few months. And of course, we've got a big Thursday and Friday ahead of us as well, so eyes will be on that jobs data that's coming out over the next two days. Market risks remain high. It's really that simple as uncertainty seems rife and markets just have little confidence in retaining any sort of rally beyond one or two days let's have a look at a couple of charts of interest though we'll start by looking at the aussie yen we're looking at it on the hourly chart we've got some key levels there we put on the chart you can see there at 92.35 this was the neckline on a reverse head and shoulders pattern earlier in the month and it looks as though we're shaping up to do the same so one wonders whether we might see this push higher around about 120 pips right up to this 93.55 level we'll suggest that perhaps for today if we get up to around about 93 that's probably a more realistic technical expectation in the short term on the asx a very choppy front materials underperforming due to those commodity price drops but one stock that did catch our eye was elders and you can see here we played with that 200 moving average over the last three weeks or so since this significant drop from this post earnings pop we had mid-may you can see we're here shaping up again to potentially test a key level at around about 13 dollars so we're keeping an eye on that level a break of that could see us up uh, to around about 13.50 in this first instance but certainly 14 dollars looks very much technically on the cards today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now